Shalom, Shalom. Call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Bukakudash. All praises to our power, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Shalom to all the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth. Uh, I got this article, and you can see it's a little video clip uh, coming from Ice Age Farmer. Uh, he got this uh, uh, article right here concerning the bird flu. It's the real pandemic. Uh, FMR CDC director. Bird flu is the real pandemic. Crown Royale 19 was just practice. And I looked at the video, and the first thing when I was watching the video, I couldn't help. But you see, you know, things spiritually, you know, the scriptures, you know, encourage us, you know, to compare spiritual things with spiritual. You know, we look at current events, things that's going on around the earth, you know, things that Esau is doing, all his plots and his schemes, you know, all his laws and legislations, uh, his propaganda, you know, the stuff that he pushed on the media. You know, we take all that. We see it. And we filter it, you know, through the scriptures. So in this video, you know, dealing with this bird flu, you know, this guy, uh, Ice Age Former, he kind of breaks down, you know, how this bird flu is going to uh, kill off a whole lot of people, pretty much, you know, through chicken, you know, your, your, your eggs, you know, your, your, your poultry. And the first thing I thought about, you know, was the Israel, you know, Esau doing away with Jacob, Esau doing away uh, with the Israelites. And we're in the times right now where Esau, you know, is getting ready to come down with great wrath and he's doing everything he can to do away with Jacob. And as you can see right here, this is one of his uh, feeble attempts. Well, real, I really shouldn't even say a feeble attempt. <laughs> this one these things that <laughs> I believe, you know, that this going to be very, very effective, you know, towards the children of Israel. Because first of all, if you read the Bible, you know, chicken eating, you know, goes back to quail. And, you know, quail, you know, was very known in our culture to eat, you know, that was part of our diet. That was part of that, uh, uh, you know, our day to day, you, you know, I eat. Uh, eating uh, routine, you know, and Esau know this stuff. These elite banking families and these uh, these elites, they know this. So I believe, you know, through this blur bird flu, this is their aim, you know, to do away, you know, with the Israelites because you know, <laughs> you know, what race of people come to mind when they come down, you know, eating chicken. You know, you so-called black people, right? And you know, you know, in the northern kingdom as well, but primarily the southern kingdom. So that that light switches came on to my head. It's like this bastard trying to do away with the Israelites by doing this. And this is what this is exactly what you're witnessing right now. This bird flu, just like these 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 Crow Royal uh, Vanessas, that was aimed towards the Israelites but that kind of that failed so now you got this little bird flu that this uh, CDC director said that this is going to be a real pandemic and you already know what this, what race of people is going to be what they going to be mainly using this to to and that's really the children of Israel so I'm going to go ahead and play this clip. I'm going to let you listen. It's the CDC director. You know, he's going into uh, the bird flu. Uh, going to be the next pandemic. You know, it's going to get a lot of people sick. A lot of people is going to die. So with that, let's, let's, let's play the tape. My friends, welcome. 
H5N1, attempting to get it to cross over into humans. And I asked the question, is bird flu going to be the next pandemic? What I didn't realize was that just last week, former CDC director Robert Redfield answered my question. Yeah, I think we have to recognize, I've always said that I think the COVID pandemic was a wake-up call. I don't believe it's the great pandemic. I believe the great pandemic is still in the future, and that's going to be a bird flu pandemic for man. It's going to have significant mortality in the 10 to 50 percent range. It's going to be trouble, and we should get prepared for it. I do believe that the pandemic risk is a greater risk of the national security of the United States than Korea, China, Russia, Iran. And we ought to start investing proportional to that national security risk that we're prepared. Wow. So the former CDC director, who, for the record, was very much involved in and entirely aligned with Dr. Fauci on the response to COVID-19, is telling us in no uncertain terms that, yes, bird flu will be the next pandemic. In fact, it will be the real one. It will jump into humans. And he even cites the same fatality numbers that the Gates Foundation funded gain of function research on H5N1 bird flu was able to achieve by splicing genes from the Spanish flu 100 years ago and the seasonal influenza now to make a mutant hybrid nasty bird flu that'll kill half the world population. That's what the media has been telegraphing us is about to happen. I'm not the only one asking. It's about to happen. And it's and just like you said, it's going to kill a whole lot of people. Primarily you Israelites because that's who he after. Uh, Psalms the 83rd chapter. Let them cut them off so there be no more remembrance. Uh, that account with Esau seeking to kill his brother Jacob. And uh, I think that's uh, Genesis 27, chapter verse 41. Now I'm going to raise up and slay my brother Jacob. That's that spirit that these elite banking families are in. And they know, they know that we're the Israelites, man. They know that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites, man. They know this. And that's why they're doing this. To do away with us. They trying to kill us, man. That's why we need the mercy of our Lord Yahweh by Shemal Shad in these times, man. Because we don't have that mercy. We through. We are done. It's too many devices that this man is pushing to, to get rid of the, the children of Israel, man. Too many devices. So much we can't even keep up with it. And now this man is, is trying to poison the food now by way of this bird flu. And they know we they know we known for eating chicken. They know that. I'm just going to keep it real. Black people love them some chicken. Really, uh, us as Israel as a whole love them love chicken. And these elites know that. And that's and I believe that's going to be their next attempt, which I believe is going to be very effective. Cuz you're going to have a lot of Israelite going to these grocery stores. Going to these fast food restaurants, ordering, ordering chicken, they going to eat it, get sick, and die. And then Esau and his wicked ass going to get on the media, oh, this restriction, that restriction, max mandates. He going to get more draconian with his law pushing. That's going to take... Away everybody's freedoms. The same thing with this, this Crown Royale 19 uh, pandemic. Same thing. So this video caught my attention. You know, it sparked up a, a bub like, <laughs> you know, according to biblical prophecy. This man's pursuing, Esau's pursuing Jacob with the sword, man. Let's continue to play the tape. Thank <laughs> you. 
happen. I'm not the only one asking if bird flu will be the next pandemic. In fact, NPR has been putting out pieces posing this, sort of setting the stage with some predictive programming. And even organizations like the International Livestock Research Institute has been suggesting bird flu could be the next global pandemic. That is part of CGIAR, which itself was also funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to the tune of upwards of a billion dollars in order to create an agricultural system with gender equality and climate resilience. So there is a network of nastiness which has funded the research into the creation of a highly fatal, a weaponized. Yeah, I think. And uh, also keep in mind, not too long ago, Bill Gates buying up all these U.S. farms, right? Taking all the seeds to these laboratories and just putting Lord, Lord knows what in these seeds. They messing with the food, man. This is where we at in this thing right now, where these wicked ass elites or poisoning the food to purge out you Americans out there, primarily you you Israelites. This thing about to get real, man. It's about to get real on a whole nother level. This man is up to some everything. And this this is your Persian period. Where he gonna be purging out Look it up, Georgia Godstones. Look up Georgia Godstones. Just type it up on Google. This is their agenda to depopulate. And who do he mainly want to depopulate? <laughs> you Israelites. I think we have to recognize, I've always said that I think the COVID pandemic was a wake up call. I don't believe it's the great pandemic. I believe the great pandemic is still in the future, and that's going to be a bird flu pandemic for man. It's going to have significant mortality in the 10 to 50 percent range. It's going to be trouble, and we should get prepared for it. I do believe that the pandemic risk is a greater risk of the national security of the United States than Korea, China, Russia, Iran. And we ought to start investing proportional to that national security risk that we're prepared. Wow. So the former CDC director, who, for the record, was very much involved in and entirely aligned with Dr. Fauci on the response to COVID-19, is telling us in no uncertain terms that, yes, bird flu will be the next pandemic. In fact, it will be the real one. It will jump into humans. And he even cites the same fatality numbers that the Gates Foundation funded gain of function research on H5N1 bird flu was able to achieve by splicing genes from the Spanish flu 100 years ago and the seasonal influenza now to make a mutant hybrid nasty bird flu that'll kill half the world population. That's what the media has been telegraphing us is about to happen. I'm not the only one asking if bird flu will be the next pandemic. In fact, NPR has been putting out pieces posing this, sort of setting the stage with some predictive programming, and even organizations like the International Livestock Research Institute has been suggesting bird flu could be the next global pandemic. That is part of CGIAR, which itself was also funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to the tune of upwards of a billion dollars in order to create an agricultural system with gender equality and climate resilience. So there is a network of nastiness which has funded the research into the creation of a highly fatal, a weaponized bird flu. Let's get down to brass tacks there. Uh, and is now telegraphing from their various positions, having infiltrated various offices of health and agriculture and food uh, policy, that bird flu will be the next pandemic. Remember, even Fauci himself authored this paper in 2020, where he wrote that Pandemics have been happening ever since human hunter-gatherers made the mistake of settling into villages, domesticating animals, and cultivating crops. Because it's agriculture that has to be transformed right now. It's the food they're coming after. And they have warned us, and we should heed their warning. Yeah, I heard that right. They are after the food. They are after the food. So, I hope you was edified through this video. 
Next time, I'll say Shalom.